Well, a Greek court has granted asylum to a Turkish soldier accused of taking part in a failed coup in Turkey. Eight soldiers fled to Greece after the attempted coup in 2016. The Greek court has denied an objection to cancel the right of asylum to Suleiman Özkan Akçı. The Turkish Foreign Ministry has condemned Greece's decision to grant asylum to that soldier who's accused of belonging to the Fethullah terrorist organization, or FETO. Well, Uluç Uzulker is a former ambassador to Paris and has served for 41 years now at, the Turkey, at Turkey's Ministry of Foreign Affairs. He joins me now live from Istanbul. Thanks so much for speaking to us. First, let me ask what you make of this Greek court's decision today. Well, personally speaking, this attitude is uh, not uh, compatible, as far as I understand, with a good neighborhood and relations that we have established with Greece since uh, the 1999. Uh, eight military personnel, high-ranked uh, officials, uh, uh, military persons uh, have flown to uh, with an army helicopter, as uh, you remember, to Greece. Uh, and uh, if they were innocent, uh, why they uh, would fly or uh, escape from Turkey to join Greece and ask for uh, asylum uh, in, in that context? Secondly, the 15 July coup in Turkey is, of course, not uh, deniable. It's a fact. But these officers are guilty because uh, they were part of it, and uh, they were accused of being uh, the organizers and uh, the practicers of uh, this coup uh, on the 15th of July. Legally speaking, uh, a court trial uh, in Greece is understandable, as far as I'm concerned. But the judgment, uh, in the end, seems to include political uh, background as well. The Greek attitude uh, makes things of a, of a political gesture, if I understand it well. When I think of uh, the recent uh, Greek provocations in the Aegean, uh, this impression uh, uh, becomes even more more convincing. Okay. It, uh, it also makes me think of a retaliatory uh, response uh, to the uh, Turkish. Uh, so, but uh, that you, right do you you do case. feel then that this will further strain this decision will further strain and damage really already tense relations between Turkey and Greece? Why do you think it was worth it in a sense? for Greek authorities then to make this decision and others that have protected those accused by Turkey? Uh, well, it's, it's a political, political gesture in the end, because uh, Chipras government, uh, as you remember, uh, tried to, to solve the problem more peacefully. But in the end, uh, there are many uh, uh, parties in, in Greece who are opposing him, and he was not successful in doing so. So what happened in the end was that uh, this uh, uh, this case was uh, brought uh, before the tribunal, and uh, unfortunately, the uh, politically uh, political uh, 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 decision, if I may put it this way, was also uh, in the, the foreseen by uh, by the by the court. Uh, okay. So I, I don't see it to be the really. Uh, a judgment uh, from the court, but uh, uh, it uh, all reflects of the attitude uh, which uh, contains also the positions of the Greek governments in the Aegean and the Eastern Mediterranean, where uh, the gas problem is uh, really becoming uh, more and more acute.